Hi guys, my name is Shubhang Garodia, Chemistry Master Teacher at Vedantu. Today we are going to talk about J Advanced 2020 Paper 2 and question number 8. Now, let's read the question first. It's an SCQ single correct type question. Which of the following plots is or are correct for the given reaction? P0 is the initial concentration of P. Okay. The reaction that is given to us is tertiary butyl bromide reacts with NaOH to give tertiary butanol and NaBr. And then we are given four options based on T half, initial rate, Ln, P by P0 and Q by P0. Okay. So it looks like guys, uh, this is a question from chemical kinetics from options. And uh, if you remember to solve any chemical kinetics question, the first and foremost thing that we have to identify is the order of the reaction. Okay. So first let's do that. Now, we are given this very simple reaction, tertiary butyl bromide reacts with NaOH to give tertiary butanol plus NaBr. Now we know that guys, tertiary butyl bromide is a very stable system when it comes to carbocation formation. So what is going to happen here is we are first going to get a carbocation and Br minus separates away. Then in the next non-selective past step, this carbocation will react with OH minus to give you butanol. Okay. Overall, if we see, what did we get overall from the reaction? The same that is given there. Tertiary butyl bromide reacts with OH- to give tertiary butanol and Br-. So, this is essentially which type of reaction, guys? This is your SN1 reaction, where the first step where carbocation is formed is your slow step, that is the RDS step, and this is your first order reaction. Peak. So we have identified the order of the reaction guys that it's a first order reaction. Now let's look at uh, the rate related points for a first order reaction. So we know that for a first order reaction, what happens to T half guys? T half is independent of initial concentrations ln2 by rate constant. So T half if we have to plot versus uh, y axis pay if I put t half and x axis pay if I put p naught that is initial concentration, what will I get? I'll get a straight line. It will be independent. Okay. Now let's go ahead and then let's talk about initial rate. Okay. Now initial rate, we know that for a first order reaction rate is equal to k into concentration of the reactant. Initial rate meaning rate at t equal to zero, that is k into 0 plus that is k into p naught. So we can see here that if I have to plot initial rate that is rate at t equal to 0 plus that is just the moment when reaction started versus p naught we can see that this will be a y equal to mx type straight line. Right. So this will be your simple straight line y equal to mx type. Got it. Now next for a first order reaction the concentration of the reactant at any time t will be equal to initial concentration into e key power minus kt. That means ln p by p naught is equal to minus kt. Tick. Now, as you can see, this is what expression, this is y equal to minus mx type. So, if I plot ln of p by p naught versus T will get a negative sloping line in the fourth quadrant. Okay. So now let's go to our options. T half versus P naught should be a straight line, horizontal straight line. Yes, correct. It matches. Initial rate versus P naught, horizontal straight line. No, initial rate versus P naught, Y equal to MX type. So this one does not match. Ln P by P naught versus time. We just saw this should be in the fourth quadrant, right? This should be like this. So this one also does not match. <coughs> Let's quickly solve Q by P naught versus time. So Q is the product concentration, right? So uh, we know that at any point of, because this is a stoichiometrically balanced reaction, one mole of reactant is giving one mole of product. We can say that at any time T, P naught, that is initial concentration will be equal to reactant remaining plus the product formed. So from here we can see guys, we wanted Q by P naught. So Q by P naught will simply come out to be what will be 1 minus P by P naught and abhi abhi humne padha tha P by P naught for a first order reaction is E to power minus Kt. 
this becomes 1 minus e to power minus kt. That means this graph should have been something like this. Approaching 1. Isn't it guys? At t equal to infinity, you will have all reactant converted to product. So q by p naught should become 1 at infinity. Thick. So this also does not match. Hence our answer is A. Thank you so much for joining us guys and we'll be back with our next question.